Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Asha Allah, Koholoimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. Just want to say for water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahana Nawaf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Just something I seen um, earlier, an article about um, Louisiana, the state. It says um, it becomes the first state to require the Ten Commandments be posted in classrooms, right? And um, I was on another phone when I went into it and I was going into the comment board. And, you know, you got people that was, you know, it's just, you know, these people are wicked as hell here in the Americas, man. They don't want nothing to do with the scriptures. But, you know, you had people in there that was talking about how it's going to be good. We need it. We need that back, you know. And um, then you got people that, you know, but what about other religions? And see, if America was truly a so-called Christian country, they wouldn't have no other religions here, you know. And then at the same time, too, they talking about the Ten Commandments. But you broke two of the main um, the Ten Commandments by murdering and, 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 and you know, and stealing this place from the, the so-called... Um, Native American Indians, man, which will be the tribe of Gad. So it's, it's, it's rather hypocritical, really, in reality. Right? Okay, but it says, um, Louisiana will become the first state to require that public universities and K-12 schools display the Ten Commandments in every classroom after the Senate voted overwhelmingly to push for new legislation Thursday. Following a short debate, lawmakers voted 30 to 8 to approve House Bill 71. All no votes were Democrats, <laughs> though a few Democrats voted in favor of the proposal. Well, you know, Democrats, man, they, they're, they're the ones that, um, you know, give you the ability to um, pretty much self-destruct, man. Do you think Joe Biden, you think Joe Biden care about the Ten Commandments? Are you crazy? You know, you think, you, you know, Kamala Harris care about it? The, they don't care nothing about the, the scriptures, man. OK, but it says the, the purpose is not solely religious. Senator Jay Morris told the Senate, rather, it is the Ten Commandments historical significance, which is simply one of many documents that display the history of our country and foundation of our legal system. See, see how hypocritical that is. You trafficked people, you know what I'm saying? You kidnapped people, you know, you've you done all these dirty things to the real children of Israel. What you're trying to front is if, you know, like this is not going to say I don't give a shit if every school in America, every damn building, every hospital, every damn dentist office or whatever the hell can post the Ten Commandments on every wall in, in, in every building in, in, in this country and mandated that it be posted in everybody's house. It's still not going to save America from what's coming. <laughs> it's not going to save this place, man, for catching the missiles, man. This place is through. See, so it's very hypocritical of these people, man, when they get to they get to acting as if they're they're religious, man. And they're, you know, and, and want to play with your intelligence, so to speak. OK, um, Senator Royce Duplessis, who identified himself as um, a practicing um, Catholic, was the only lawmaker to speak in opposition of the legislation on um, Thursday. I don't have to. I ha he says, I don't have to learn the Ten Commandments in school. We went to Sunday school, he said. You want your kids to learn about the Ten Commandments, take them to the church. He added that the bill could potentially open the state up to lawsuits. We're going to spend a valuable state resources defending the law when we really need to be teaching our kids how to read and write. I don't I don't think this is appropriate for uh, us to mandate. Horton has previously defended. Horton has previously defended her bill, saying during a House debate last month that the Ten Commandments are the basis of the law in Louisiana and arguing that the legislation honors the country's religious origins. I'm not concerned with an atheist. I'm not concerned with a Muslim, she said, when asked about teachers who might not subscribe to the Ten Commandments. I'm concerned with our children looking and seeing what God's law is. The bill must next be signed by the governor before it becomes law. The passage highlights the increasingly blurry divide between church and state that becomes more common in several Republican-led states. At least one other state, Utah, is also considering legislation that would require schools to display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. Texas proposed similar bill in 2023. 
but it failed to receive a vote by the House before a crucial deadline. So it's a few states that, you know, try to um, do it, right? Okay, so you get the point there. But now, because the scriptures talks about meditating on, on, on you know, meditate on the word day and night, man. Let me see here. Yeah, because see, in reality, you're supposed to be um, so like I'm at the plantation, so I'm trying to be discreet here as possible. You no know, motherfuckers be all in your mouth. But um, the scriptures, these things are supposed to be taught, taught to your children, day and night. Let me see if I can find that one. Lock here. Trying to think exactly where that's uh Leviticus 10 and 11. It says, and that ye may, let me see, we go into it a little bit more. We can just get straight to the point. Leviticus 10 and 11, and that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord, Yahweh, has spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. So this is supposed to be a day-to-day -day thing. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be something that we're supposed to be meditating on day and night. It's supposed to govern our lives. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Esau, of course, you know, they, they, they put their hands on the scriptures as if they're this religious people. And, and, and clearly they, they go against everything that the scripture says, basically, man. Okay, so let's get on um, Psalms chapter 50. Start at verse 16 here. It says, But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, What have thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and casting my words behind thee. See? When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him, and hast been partakers with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. And that's that's them, man. That's Esau. They mouth frame deceit. They come up with all these different laws, you know what I'm saying? And and, and push uh, uh, bullshit on the people. And then they want to, you know, uh, uh, have you come to the courts and place your hand on the Bible, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But they'll have laws that's got, you know, that goes totally against the scriptures. That's mandated that they that they run with. So it, it, this is a complete joke, man. And this is just them, you know, trying to save face because in reality, they're not coming back from this, man. They're not coming back from this. Again, you know what I'm saying? They can they can they can try and push the Ten Commandments on on everybody. But the thing of it is, is <laughs> it's not gonna save them, man. Destruction is coming to this place. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. They, 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 they can't avoid it. And so I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec. I didn't want to keep it too long. Um, yeah, just know that we are in the end of this thing, man, because Esau, he's trying to claw back, he's trying to fight back. And again, it's not going to work. Man. <laughs> and you can clearly see it's like, you know, it's like that, that, that right there is like a desperate, pretty much a, a, a desperate plea, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, we got to do something. We're just, you know, we're losing it as a nation. You know what I'm saying? But see, the scripture goes on to say, um, you know, they, you know, um, let me get, yeah, let me get the rest of this. Thou sittest and speakest against thy own, own thy, thou sittest. And speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. So that's Esau, you know, um, slandering, um, you know, uh, uh, Jacob, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They constantly accuse him, um, the brethren, man. It says, These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. 
Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one of thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. See? Because they've been able to rule for these, these couple of hundred years, you know what I'm saying, and nothing has happened to them. They've never been bombed. They've never had no problems with no other nations as far as like, you know, boots on the ground here. You know, they, you know this is pretty much the virgin daughter of Babylon. So they've always thought that the Lord was with them. And in a sense, he, he was just for them to just carry out, um, you know, um, 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 their, 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 their part in this movie. To carry out their wickedness, you know, to, to, to basically punish the children of Israel for not listening. So they play that they played their part already. So it's over with. It's a wrap for them. That's it. The Lord don't need them for anything else. So from there, you know, you get that revelation. Because this is what it's all boiling down to right here for the asses, man. And again, it's a lock, yo. I'm at the plantation, so, you know, it ain't nothing but a bunch of damn Edomites around. So I'm trying to be easy over here. Um, Revelation 13 and 9, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See that? So the, the, this is what's coming for them next. Soon, too. We pray, you know, that the Lord, you know, hey, we, 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 we pray that this thing happen this year, man. We go ahead and do what we got to do. We go ahead and go through what we got to go through and, and pray to Yahweh about Shemiah was shy, man, that he would keep us. You know, and not take away his Holy Spirit from us, man. And just, hey, we go ahead and get, get on up out of here, man. And, and, and go into a state of ruling, man, where we're not, we, we're not underneath this man no more. This man is wicked as hell. And then he tries to use the scriptures to make it seem as if he's so damn righteous, man. It's crazy. Anyway, though, I just wanted to touch on that, man. So with that, I pretty this lesson was edifying. Come on, y'all.